Hello guys, I'm back again and I'm here to talk about something I've been seeing in the internet and in the newspapers about production in the animals. You can get some, uh, a person is featured in the newspaper whereby you read a story and you are told like this person has five cows and is producing approximately 40 liters per cow. That means that person is actually producing around 200 liters of milk from the five cows per day. Which most of us, what they end up telling us is that he is selling that milk at 60 shillings per liter. So with the 200 liters of milk, that person is actually attaining 12,000 Kenya shillings per day. When you hear about that, you think, wow, that's very good money and you can really get rich in terms of dairy farming. But there's one thing that they haven't told you about. The cost of producing those 200 liters of milk they haven't told you so before you decide to invest in any venture let's say for example it's dairy pigs poultry and everything make sure you first learn what you call the running cost of that animal or that poultry or that pig for instance that person did tell you that a cow producing approximately 40 liters per day it will feed approximately 30 kgs of silage which approximately at the moment it's costing around 18 shillings per kg that person did also didn't also tell you that that cow is feeding around 10 kgs of hay which is the cost of hay at the moment is around 300 or 350 per bale of 10 kgs the other thing he didn't tell you that that cow is actually consuming around 10 to 15 kgs of dairy meal which is actually at a cost of 40 shillings per day the other thing that person did tell you is that cow is actually has someone who is looking after it the other, person, the other thing is what we use in terms of disinfecting the water the labor and everything else so when you come to a conclusion like i want to keep this kind of dairy animal or this animal make sure you do your due diligence and do what you call a business plan this will help you to know i want to keep an animal this way so this is the running cost this is what it will cost me and this is what you are calling our projection production at which we will attain at a certain given period of time because one thing about dairy farming it's all about patience and every farming in this world it's all about Patient, because I've never had where by person plants something today and grows and the harvest is tomorrow. It takes time, it takes time to learn, it takes time to grow. And before you invest, make sure you research very well to be able to determine what you're actually going to do and the real story, Kwa Ground in a Sema Ajay.